كيرفس ادجستمنت كيرفس ادجستمنت سو وات اباوت كيرفس ادجستمنت كيرفس اوفر فيو In the curves adjustment, you adjust points throughout an image's tonal range, and initially, the image's tonality is represented as a straight diagonal line on a graph. And when adjusting an RGB image, the upper right area of the graph represents the highlights, and the lower left area represents the shadows. And the horizontal axis of the graph represents the input levels and the original image values. And the vertical axis represents the output levels and the new adjusted values. And as you add control points to the line and move them, the shape of the curve changes. And reflecting your image adjustments and the steeper sections of the curve represents areas of a higher contrast, while flatter sections represent area of lower contrast. And also you can save curves adjustment setting as presets. And do not and be careful please here now. The curves adjustment can also be applied to CMYK lab or grayscale images. For CMYK images the graph displays percentage of the of length big bands for lab and grayscale images and this graph displays light values by the way like this image image adjustments. We have A and B and C and D and E and F and G and H and I and J and K and H icon is meaning something and curves options in the properties panel. A is meaning on image adjustment tool and B is meaning symbol in image to set black point and C is meaning symbol in image to set gray point and D is meaning symbol in image to set white point and E is meaning edit points to modify the curve and F is meaning draw to modify the curve and G is meaning curves preset menu and H is meaning set black point and I is meaning set gray point and G is meaning set white point and K is meaning show clipping show clipping increase mid-tone What about increase mid-tone contrast with curves and adjust image color and tone with curves? By the way, moving a point in the, the top portion of the curve adjusts the highlights. Moving a point in the center of the curve adjusts the mid-tones. And moving a point in the bottom section of the curve adjusts the shadows. To darken highlights, move a point near the top of the curve downward. And moving a point either down or to the right maps, the input value, by the way, to a lower output value, and the Im image darkens. To lighten and the shadows, move a point near the bottom of the curve upward, moving a point either up or to the left maps, a lower input value to a higher output value, and the image lightness. And you have steps here now. To apply a curves adjustment, do one of the following. You should click the curves icon in the adjust adjustment panel. After that, you should choose layer. Then you choose new adjustment layer. Then curves. Then click OK in the new layer dialog box. And do not and be careful. It's choosing image. Then you choose adjustments. Then you choose curves applies the adjustment directly to the image layer and discard this image information. Step number two, optional. To adjust the color balance in the properties panel, choose the channel you want to adjust from the menu to the left of the auto button. Step number three, in the properties panel, do any of the following now. You should click directly on the curve line and then direct the control point to adjust a tonal area. And after that, you should select the on image adjustment tool and then drag in the area of the image you want to adjust after that you should select the on image adjustment tool and click the tonal areas in the image that you want to adjust this places by the way control points along the curve line after that choose a preset from the preset menu and dragging a control point up or down lightens or darkens the tonal area You are adjusting and dragging a control point left or, a or right increases or decreases the contrast. And you can also add up to 14 control points to the curve. And to remove a control point, drag it off the graph. And as you adjust the tonality, 
the graph continues displaying the original dialogues sorry diagonal and baseline or a, and image histogram as references these options by the way can can be turned off and the set curves displays options step number four optional again do any of the following to modify the adjustment you should to add more points directly to the curve to adjust different tonal areas and also should to click the on image adjustment tool in other areas of uh, the image and drag up or down and after that move the set black and white point sliders or use the eyedropper tool to specify the darkest and lightest values in the image after that you should to click a point on the curve and enter values in the input and output text boxes and after that curve values curve values icon or to smooth the curve you draw and then clicking more than once continues to smooth the curve further and points on the curve remain anchored until you move them and you can make an adjustment in one tunnel area without affecting other areas by the way like these images and this screenshot this screenshot now is explained for you how to clicking the on image adjustment tool in the image adds control points to the curve and moving the control points adjusts the tonality of the image how to remove control points from a curve if you'd like to remove any control points from a curve what should you do now to remove a control point to do any of the following you should to drag the control point off the graph after that you should to select the control point and press delete and after that click control click if you use windows or command click if you use macOS and the control point set curve displays options how to set curve display options you can control by the way the curve grid display using the curve display options and you have steps step number one you should apply a curve adjustment step number two in the properties panel you should choose curves display options from the panel menu and do not and be careful at this point point number two not and be careful if you choose image and then you choose adjustments then you choose curves expand the curve display options in the curves dialog box step number three in the curve display options dialog box select any of the following light from 0 to 255 display the intensity values for rgb images in the range from 0 to 255 with black 0 and at the lower left corner pigment ink percent displays the percentage of cmyk images are displayed in a range from 0 to 100 with highlights by the way 0 percent at the lower left corner and the simple grid displays grid lines in 25 percent increments and detailed grid displays grid, grid lines in 10 percent increments and the short channel overlays displays color channel curves sublim super sorry super superposed on the composite curve and the histogram displays a histogram of the original image tonal values behind the graph and the baseline displays the original image by the way color and tonality as 45 degree angle line for reference and intersection line and displays horizontal and vertical lines to help you align control points as you drag them relative to the histogram or grid and please please note here to change the grid line increment alt click if you use windows or option click if you use macOS the grid how to apply an auto correction in curves how to apply an auto correction in curves you should to click in the properties panel firstly firstly you should to click in the properties panel and after that auto applies an automatic color correction using the current default setting and to change the default setting choose you should to choose auto options from the properties panel menu and then set the option in the auto color correction options dialog box and you can also apply an auto color and auto contrast and or auto tone correction to an image how to set black and white how to set black and white points using the black point and white point sliders by the way when applying a curves adjustment use the black and white sliders to quickly 
set the black and white points and the pure black and two, uh, and the pure white values in the image. We have steps. Step number one: you should drag the black and white points sliders to any point along the horizontal axis. By the way, and do note that the input values changes as you drag. Number two: to preview clipping as you adjust the black and white points, do one of the following: you should hold down. Alt if you use Windows or Option if you use macOS. Then you choose Show Clipping for black and white points from the panel menu. How to add? How to add contrast to the midtones of a photo with a canvas? How to add contrast to the midtones of a photo with canvas? By the way, if the images uses the full tone tonal range but needs midtone contrast, you should click the canvas icon in the adjustment panel. Firstly, and drag the curve into a S shape like this screenshot now. This image now explains for you how to increasing the slope in the middle of the curve, increase contrast in the mid-tones. Keyboard shortcuts curves. What about keyboard shortcuts curves? You can also use this keyboard shortcuts curves for curves and to set a point on the curve for the selected color in each color components channel but not in the composite channel by the way and you should to press shift control if you use windows or press shift command click if you use macOS in the image and to select multiple points you should to press shift click points on the curve the selected points are filled with black after that to deselect all points on the curve, click in the grid or press Ctrl if you use Windows, press Ctrl D, sorry, if you use Windows or, con or Command D if you use macOS. And to select the next higher point on the curve, press the plus key. Press the plus key to select the next lowest and press the minus key. After that, to move selected points on the curve, press the arrow keys. And after that, curve is the yellow box. To set a point on the curve for the current channel and control click if you use Windows or command click if you use macOS in the image by the way. And if you are interested using the curve's adjustment, simply click in the image with the, with the, the on image adjustment tool.